There are two methods for you to download and install Power BI Desktop on your computer. There is a recommended method and there is um, a not so good method. So the first method is a recommended one. And for that approach, you have to go to your desktop and do a search for Microsoft Store from your tax bar. So from your tax bar search, type in Microsoft Store, then you launch Microsoft Store. Once Microsoft Store is up, go right there into the search bar in the Microsoft Store and type in Power BI. So you are going to see a list of Power BI options, right? Now make sure that you only select the desktop. That's the Power BI desktop. So from this page, you can click on install or maybe if you have get as your own blue button from your ends, then just click on get and it's going to download and install for you automatically. Now this method is recommended because every time there is a new update to the Power BI desktop application, that update automatically gets pushed into your computer and you don't always have to go to manually download the Power BI desktop installation file like we are going to see from the second method. So for the second method, you have to go to your web browser and uh, type in powerbi.microsoft.com. Once you land on the page powerbi.microsoft.com, you want to scroll down all the way to the end of that page, then you are going to see a section here for downloads. In this section, the first thing you should find is Power BI Desktop. Now, when you click on the link for Power BI Desktop, that should bring you up to this next page. And if you have problems downloading from Microsoft Store, then the next thing you want to click on is this C download or language options. Now, when you click on this, that's going to get you onto this new page. And then from here, you can simply click on download and that's going to start the download for your Power BI desktop installation file. Once you have that file downloaded, just go into the download section of your computer and double click on the installation file to start the installation. The downside to this method is when Microsoft releases a new update in the next month, which they usually do every month, then you are going to have to come back to this same method to download and install the new installation file all over again.